Hi YouTubers, um, <laughs> I decided to make a video tonight about this thing I have called trigeminal neuralgia. Um, I've been having a couple of flares in the past hour or so. It really hurts. It's extremely painful. It's like an ice pick being stabbed in my ear. My face being cut open with razor blades. My tongue being scraped by razor blades. Um, it's up in my sinuses, it's behind my eyes, it's shooting up past my eyes, it's really, really painful. So, um, I have a, um, a cold cloth, it's, um, it helps a little bit, but uh, it still hurts. It's, my face is burning, my forehead's burning, my nose, you know, you can start to see it here. Um, and my chin is just on fire. Um, but trigeminal neuralgia is um, the disease, disease is it's not contagious you can't catch it from being around anybody that has it but it's very painful it's um, a rare disease neurologist um, most often the patient has to educate the neurologist there is some research going on for it but um, there's not enough there's no cure for it um, trigeminal neuralgia patients are given medicine that is given to epileptics and um, narcotics that uh, are used for breakthrough pain there's not even um, the same type of treatment what works for one will work for, or won't work for another um, there's tegretol is the, the main thing that's used but tegretol, tegretol causes um, tachycardia, which is a, a racing heartbeat, even if you're sitting still, your heartbeat races, that's tachycardia, and I have that, and so I can't take Tegretol, I can take Gabapentin, and so I take Gabapentin and Hydrocodone, and in the last uh, week or so, I've really started to get to where um, my, I feel like my brain is in a fog, and I'm losing my words, um, more often, um, <laughs> there's a meme going around with uh, someone had, had under a banana at a grocery store under a bunch of bananas. They had put long yellow thing and the price underneath it. And the meme is that, yeah, you had one job. Well, when you're on medicine like we are for um, trigeminal neuralgia, you tend to you you lose your words I've also been stumbling over words uh, stuttering and that's something I've never done before so it's really bothering me right now and I finally I guess got enough information to my neurologist to where he's finally decided that if I don't um, if my if the nerve damage doesn't stop if the pain doesn't stop within the next month or so that he will be sending me to a uh, surgeon and to a pain management clinic. Um, trigeminal neuralgia is not uh, genetic, or they say it's not genetic, but my mother had it, and she suffered with it for three years before she finally had something called gamma knife surgery, which is what I'm going to be looking at because of my tachycardia. I'm not a patient for uh, mask <laughs> see if I can remember the word um, it's MVD muscular uh, I can't remember the word I'll have to get back to that something decompression microvascular decompression see I told you I'd forget um, it says microvascular decompression or MVD and it's where they take a plug out of the back of your ear or your skull behind your skull and usually if anything shows up on the MRI it's that your nerve your trigeminal nerve is being compressed by a blood vessel there may be a tangle of nerves and a tangle of blood vessels and so they um, put Teflon or it, it's uh, a, a Teflon like almost like a flattened cotton ball that has these little Teflon strips on the outside of it and they put that in between the nerves and the blood vessels and that's supposed to help the patients with TN um, not have any more pain. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I've noticed that now my head is always tilted towards the left. Mom said it, it has done it since I was an infant. And so um, 
I think that's part of the problem is that I'm pinching a nerve. I also have, um, um, what's the word, bone spurs on one side and of my neck, and I have um, degenerative discs on the other side, so that's probably a whole lot of where mine is coming from. Um, Lately, it's been affecting the top of my head, like right in the center of my head, about three fingers width. It's very painful. And then right up here, um, just behind the top of my scalp, it's very painful. That is the occipital nerve, that's your eyes. Um, so I have it also in my tongue. I've had a few shocks in my throat. So I am one of the lucky ones that has trigeminal neuralgia that covers my entire face. It is supposed to be very rare to have bilateral trigeminal neuralgia on both sides and I've had shocks um, mostly on my right which is where it started but I've had shocks on my left too. I also have something called temporomandibular <sighs> temporomandibular joint disorder which is TMJD or TMD. Um, which is where my jaws slide out of joint and it that's painful and that can also cause the shocks in your face um, TN it feels like um, the ice picks in your ears um, shocks in your face like you're being electrocuted um, it is three branches it comes out just in front of your ear here and it goes here and along your jawline and then into your jaw and all the nerves it branches out it goes into every tooth it also affects your nose it affects your lips it affects your chin it affects your throat uh, it affects your tongue and when mine uh, first started my tongue it was just the right hand side like there had been a line drawn down the middle of my tongue and just the right hand side was getting shocked well now it's both sides and I want to just pull my tongue out and chop it off because it's extremely painful um, my forehead will burn my eyes feel like there's um, somebody with needles behind them pricking them you know both eyes pricking them it's been burning up inside my nose uh, the sides of my nose have been swollen for the past month and I'm getting the pain really just the burning pain here but my eyes and the corners are burning and my neck feels like it has a knot in it but where my brain stem is it has been swollen and so I use ice packs or cold washcloths on my top of my head and my face and on the back of my neck People with TN often cannot touch their face, uh, so I have what I think is the version of ATN, which is atypical uh, trigeminal neuralgia and or atypical facial pain, but I'm unique in that I also get the electric shocks, and so it's going to be quite confusing um, to figure out what exactly is going on. I had an MRI done. Um, I also had a lumbar puncture done lumbar punctures are painful I wanted to die it was gosh awful that puts you on this table they make you hold on to the edge of the table and then they raise the table up while they stick this long needle into your spinal fluid into your spinal cord and the headaches were horrible I had a solid headache for a week I could not even sit up I had to eat soup laying down um, you know poured into a bowl with this with a bendy straw so I could drink it for nutrition um, the MRI wasn't bad it's kind of claustrophobic but I just close my eyes and ask them to play music or turn the TV on or something so I can get through the machine without freaking out because uh, I don't like closed spaces um, but anyhow um, so there's no cure yet for trigeminal neuralgia. The um, awareness day is October 7th. It has been going on for the past few years. Mine started in April of 2014 of this year um, from a severe ear infection that the doctors didn't pick up for two solid months. So that's where it started. And um, 
it damaged I believe I believe it damaged my nerve and so I hope that I won't like it will heal but um, I'm very sensitive my ears my hearing like I can't even stand an electric can opener it just drives me nuts and if the radio is, has a lot of static in it I will just you know cover my ears um, but it's very painful um, I'm probably going to pay for this later if I'm talking so much. My jaws are sore. And usually when the jaws get sore, that's one of my signs that it's about to hit. I don't know if I'm brave enough to show you uh, what a pain thing looks like. It's very scary. Um, my mother would, would have it. Uh, I don't believe she ever cried out in pain, but mine seems to be different from hers. Hers was just the electric shocks from like her cheek um, and it didn't affect her teeth and it didn't affect her forehead uh, mine seems to be both sides so um, yeah and it's got my ear um, my ear hurts it burns all the time um, <clears throat> I also have the neck pain and I have to watch how I tilt my head like I can't bend it down and then turn it because um, that would just oh it'll just floor me so that's what I'm dealing with right now and um, I do want to make a sort of like a research or a um, awareness channel and I may do that this year or for the new year for 2015 I may do that and talk about diet and inflammatory anti-inflammatory foods so this is my first post on trigeminal neuralgia and um, what I'm facing right now um, but anyhow if please um, like the video and share it with your friends uh, so we can get the word of, word out about um, neurosurgeons and doctors um, in general and dentists these specialists need to know about this disease uh, it's very painful and to be told that you need to see a shrink because it's all in your head hell yes it's all in our head it's a nerve and you don't tell sick people that there are hypochondriacs out there there are drug seekers out there but um, you can't fake pain you cannot fake pain um, <laughs> this is um, this is just one more thing you know that I have to deal with I'm already in a wheelchair from not having any cartilage in my hips that's that will be another video I'm not going to go into that right now but trigeminal neuralgia the word needs to get out that um, we do need a cure for this disease it's horrible thank you for watching please like it and pass it on